coordinates and nature of the stationary points. So stationary points occur when dy by dx is equal to naught. So I'll differentiate what we got. So dy by dx, x cubed is 3x squared. 3x squared goes to 6x. And differentiate 1 is 0. So I now solve 3x squared plus 6x equal to naught to find the x coordinates of the stationary points. 3x is a common factor. So 3x bracket x plus 2. So that's giving me x is equal to naught or x is minus 2. So those are my two x values. So the coordinates will be naught something and minus 2 something. Now to find these corresponding values of y when x has these values I go back to the y equation so y is x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1 so if x is naught then y is naught cubed is naught plus 3 times naught squared is naught minus 1 so y is minus 1 and if x is minus 2 then y is minus 2 cubed plus 3 times minus 2 squared minus 1. So cubed minus 2, that's minus 8. Square minus 2 is plus 4 times 3 is plus 12 minus 1. So y is equal to 3. So minus 2, 3. So there's the coordinates of the stationary points. To determine the nature, I, I'll use the second derivative test. So Calculate the second derivative, d2y by dx squared, differentiating dy by dx gives me 6x plus 6. And then sub in these values, if x is naught, d2y by dx squared is 6 lots of nothing is nothing plus 6, which is 6, so it's positive. So that's a minimum at naught minus 1. And if x is minus 2, then the second derivative is 6 also minus 2 minus 12 plus 6, which is minus 6. So because it's negative, that would be a maximum of minus 2, 3. So there's the two stationary points on the nature. So part, so part B, I want to sketch that so x and y so the minimum is at naught minus one naught minus one is there so there's the minimum minus one and the max at minus two three so maximum there so the graph will do that down to the minimum, go back up, and there's the curve. And then part C, write down the number of positive real roots of the equation x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1 equal to naught. So, where does this this curve equal to naught is the x axis? How many places does it cut the x axis? 1, 2, 3. How many of them are positive? It's only this final one that's positive. So, there is one positive real root.